All right, welcome back to another episode of Coding with Culp. Today is a great day to learn how to code. Today's going to be really short. All I want to do is show you how to make sure that you have Genie set up to run Python 3 when you click the uh, Run button or the Execute uh, Script button. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to find we need to find out what command starts Python 3 for you. And by the way, this is all on a Raspberry Pi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a terminal window right up here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm type in Python. Now, if you installed the default, the current version of, of Raspbian, and you didn't do anything else, more than likely, Python starts up Python 3 for you. Or if you like me, and you also and you installed Python 2, it's probably going to start up Python 2. But let's just type in Python and see what we get. So you'll notice for me, when I type in Python, I get Python 2.7.16. I get a version of Python 2, and that's not what we want, okay? Um, or we, we're looking for the command to start Python 3. Now, here's the deal. If, when you typed in Python, you got a version of Python 3, Python 3 point something, you're good, you're finished, you're done, okay? You don't have to do anything. If you get a version of Python 2, let's make sure that we've got Python 3 installed by typing in uh, Python 3. Notice that's all one word. There's no um, um, space in between Python and 3. All right. So when I type in Python 3, I get Python 3.7.3. .3. So it does start up a version of Python 3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Genie. So let me fire up Genie here. All right. Now, because I have to type in Python 3 to start up Python 3, I'm going to come over here to build, set build commands. Now, normally, Genie is going to default to starting Python. Okay? So when you click run, it's going to actually um, execute this right here, Python, and then it inserts the file name in there. If you don't have Python 2 installed and the command Python starts up Python 3 for you, then once again you're done. You don't have to do anything. It works fine. But if you're like me and you actually have to use the command Python 3 to start up Python 3, all you're going to do is um, put a 3 right here. And so now it's going to uh, run Python 3. Notice once again no space when you uh, fire up or when you execute a um, um, Python script. So let's give it a try. And there we go. This is a little game we wrote in one of the um, episodes where we're chasing the cheese around the screen. Okay. So uh, it worked. Ran fine. Um, so that's it. Just make sure that um, um, Genie is calling the correct version of Python for you. That's it. So... Um, that's it. Every day is a great day to learn how to code, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.